Oh my god. I made that mix for her when we were 12. So here's the DVD player. Now I... Aha, here's the DVD. I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? <laughs> the long... Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake right The long me. debate no. rages on. Is Deckard I'm a replicant? Sorry, I crashed so hard. Were you okay? Read the book. I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates, jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and the bullshit. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Um... This is a little weird. So, are you sure it isn't too weird for you to be hanging out with me like this? Kind of, but only because I haven't seen you in so long. I was selfish. No, you were busy kicking ass. I don't blame anyone for bailing on me. People suck. Just joking. But I do feel grateful I can see the ocean. That I have parents who love me. And that my best friend is here with me today. Exactly. So, what else do you need? Well, hot monkey sex would be nice. Yeah, seems alright. <laughs> oh, look. I made Maxine blush. So, are you dating anyone at Blackwell? Oh, I'm too busy with school and photography. Oh, please. You can't be an artist unless you experience life. That includes boys, girls, whatever. I was supposed to go out with this guy named Warren, but... I don't think he's into me anymore. His loss. You need to move on, girl. Plenty of fish in the bay. <laughs> Shit. I sound like my dad. How is William? How is William? Do you like having him around? Of course. He's my hero. I swear he would do anything for me or mom. Wish I could do something for him. You have. You're here with your family. More like they're here for me. 
They can saw you. So it's all good. Gave Chloe their giant expensive HDTV, and they use her shitty tube television. That's nice. Me and Victoria are friends now? Hm. Um. with Nathan. This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Bonjour. <laughs> it's great they finally went to Paris. <laughs> no change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. Choices of food coupon boss. Whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And Rachel Amber is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. Um, what's that good as a lonely gateway to the Pacific and beyond? Now locals and tourists face the sad, surreal image of gray whales that inexplicably swam to land and to their doom. The whale ponds were spotted early morning on Wednesday, October 9th, and within a few hours, at least half a dozen were dead or dying on the shore. Smartphone footage does not reveal any unusual ocean conditions or ex excessive pollution. What? Smartphone footage? Someone's recording? Whatever. Uh, meanwhile, ecologists and marine biologists from across the country are carefully studying samples from the whales and environment. The Prescott Foundation has vowed to provide extra research funds given the local scope of this eco-mystery. Yes, Max, I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. Family's How really sarcastic. I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. But it was a great experience, especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there. But that's not practical anymore. It's not fair, Max. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. The price is always right. Get it? No? Being around you and Joyce again is so... Nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. 
Or is it? I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber. Oh, yes. Yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Ah, oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. So, I'm getting these drugs for Chloe. I'm extremely worried that she's asking me to kill her. I don't know how to say this, um, but I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. Is she mad at me for not staying in touch? She should be. I have no excuse. She was disappointed, but she knows oh, you care. Excuse me. And I know how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. The Prescott family might be bad news. Plays with the face more than I do. About them? <laughs> Evil. Next question. Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. Nice flyers. They're drowning in debt just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. Happy credit card. Piss off. Oh, God. Gee, $1,250 a week. That's the reality. And that is going to be reality soon. Very soon. Not for me, but for lots of people. Hopefully not for me. and see what's in here. Shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. I never heard much about William's brother. Uh, since the accident, work has been piling up and I'm being sent to Salt Lake City to oversee a new parking lot. You have to go where the work is these days. I wish I could have sent you a bigger check, but you know the story. Money is nobody's favorite thing. Maybe I'll see you next spring for a visit. Kiss Chloe and Joyce for me. Well, it's nice of his brother. That is nice. I guess we stopped growing up together. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. No. There are no coincidences. Crutches. They bought crutches for Chloe. Hoping she might walk again. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. This game, man. Nothing here. 